What's up guys, my name is Branko and welcome to a brand new series. This series is going to teach you everything you need to know about Necto Studio IDE. The main thing about Necto is that you will be able to rapidly prototype embedded projects for microcontrollers. So let's do it. Let's start with installing Necto Studio on your device. We are basically going to head on to microe.com slash Necto. We've got some cool basic info written over here. You can definitely check it out. It really doesn't matter whether you're a Mac, Linux or Windows aficionado. You're good to go on all three of those platforms. Click over here, then finally, select what OS you want to install Necto Studio on. Download an app for your specific operating system. While downloading is happening, I want to quickly mention there is an online help available for the Necto Studio. You can always jump over here as kind of a general reference to this IDE. It can help you get into some specifics about Necto Studio. Ok guys, download is finished. Let's initiate the Necto Studio Installer Wizard. We'll jump into settings option, where we've got a proxy setting which actually is a filtering service between user and a web. In most cases you leave those fields blank, otherwise grab your IT guide or google it out and you'll be provided with proxy settings for your network. Ok, moving on. By selecting next, we will be selecting destination of Next Studio. Click next. We've got some hot stuff over there, but do not change components section at this stage. We will be discussing about them in the following videos. Ok, click next. Click that you want to accept the license terms. Then click next. And finally, click on install. That's it guys. During the installation process of Nectar Studio, depending on what software libraries you already have on your Windows OS device, Microsoft Redistributable Wizard could pop up. Install this set of libraries as well. After the installation process, you will be able to run Nectar Studio. Ok guys, two more things and we are ready to go. The first one would be an app for programming microcontrollers and the second one logging into an Ecto. On to the first one. Cold Grip Suite is a lightweight app designed for programming microcontrollers. Check out microe.com slash codegrip in order to discover more about this product. Alright guys, that's it. Let's install it. You select folder in which you want to install this app. Ok, click next. Click that you want to accept the license terms. And then click install. After we have successfully installed both Necto Studio and CodeGrip Suite, we can successfully sign in. If you do not have an account, just click on Create Account. Populate those fields, click Register and you will receive an email for confirmation. Now that you have an account, type in your credentials and click on Sign In. Here it is, the landing page of Necto Studio. Alright guys, Necto is installed. Over the next few videos we will be discussing Necto interface in general. That's it for now, I'll see you guys on the next one.